my top failed auditions. What the hell? Just epically wrong. I auditioned for a horror film, for a feature film. I was auditioning for a commercial. They want you to audition for a musical. Bunch of other actors that look exactly like you. Gets you right in the self-esteem that you just kind of go, oh yes, I am just a number after all, aren't I? Oh, so you didn't even learn the dialogue then. A little whippet dog if it'd been left out in the rain for too long. Yeah, get in her face. Ugh, this is minging. You are going to be quite literally thrown out of a plane. It's like everybody's screaming. Why are they screaming? Okay, thank you. And like an object on a conveyor belt, off you go. I do this in order to try and get paid for stuff. This is shite. Why did I do this? Whilst I'm playing my ukulele, I am just sweating nerves. He shoes me. I was like, I've just been shooed. No idea what to do with my hands. I look like a fucking teapot. So that's good. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. So, how do you actually recover from something like that? How do you recover from a really, really bad audition so that it doesn't kind of seep into everything else that you're doing and it doesn't make you doubt yourself? How can you learn from the experience? How can you grow from it? Well, I'm glad you asked. Okay, so the first thing that I want you to do is understand that that kind of stuff happens. It is the law of averages. And the law of averages will dictate that you cannot stay on top for a substantial amount of time. You are going to come down and then you're gonna be up at the middle and then you're gonna go up again, and then you're gonna go down again. You're gonna have good experiences, then you're gonna have bad experiences. But understanding that those things come and they go, they're not going to stay consistent. This too shall pass. So just because you had a really, really crap commercial audition does not mean that that is going to then happen for the next theater audition. Or even if you audition for a drama school one year and it goes really, really badly and you audition the next year, it doesn't mean that it's going to be the same experience each and every time. You grow, you progress, the circumstance changes, your mindset changes. This will not be consistent. So it's worth just kind of going, that was a pile of crap and now we put it over there. Because the next circumstance, the next experience will not be the same. It might be better, it might be worse, but it won't be the same. The next thing that I want you to do is actually make a list of all of the successes that you have had. Whenever we have a really, really bad experience like that, that really hits the self-esteem, that hits us right in the ego and makes us feel absolutely crap about ourselves, about our capabilities, about our talent, about our place within the industry, about this idea that, oh my God, no one wants us, no one thinks that we're very good. Actually make a list of all of the stuff that you've actually achieved, whether that is in the entirety of your career, in the last six months, in the last month, in the last week, it doesn't matter. I want you to make a list of the things that you actually go, ha, I'm actually quite successful. There are things that I have done right or that there are things that I have done well. Whether that is, I had a really successful audition last year, last month, last whatever. I was involved in this project. I collaborated with these people. I got this as a compliment. Someone said that they admired me for whatever reason. It, do it doesn't necessarily have to be career orientated. It can be just in daily life. By reminding yourself of your successes, you're gonna get yourself out of that rut, out of that hole of thinking that you're absolutely hopeless and useless. And the success can be really, really small. It could be that you made your best friend laugh when they were feeling down. That is still a success. It means that you have worth and importance within this world and within the actual ecosystem that you have set up around you. Don't put down and minimize your successes. They are important. The next thing I want you to think about is exposure. Yeah, so after that audition that I had, I said to my agent, I do not want to ever be put up for musical theater ever again. So I went to the complete opposite end of it. Instead of actually going, ah, that's something that I found really, really tricky, really, really upsetting in the moment. Maybe if I actually exposed myself to that a little bit more, I would be able to get over that as, ex as an experience. No. Of course I didn't. I went, no, that was painful. I don't wanna have anything to do with it anymore. And even years later, I am still building up my confidence of being able to sing in a public space again. I found it so upsetting at the time that I completely resisted it. And if anything, if I got over it, if I actually exposed myself to it even more in the aftermath of that experience, then I would be in a much better place now. So if you have an experience like that, Throw yourself back in the ring, get back on the horse. Exposure is actually the only way to properly get over something, to properly demystify and, and take away the sting and take away the, the danger and the, the fear around it. And the next thing that I want you to do is take logical stock. Now look, I know that I gave that last audition a zero out of 10 in terms of success, but the fact of the matter is that was just how I was feeling emotionally about it. If I was to actually logically think about what did and did not work, there was 
heck of a lot that didn't work in that audition, a heck of a lot, and there's no denying that. But I prepared fully. I went in with a certain level of confidence, with a certain understanding of from what I have gathered of what they want, I have prepared accordingly. That is a success in and of itself. I didn't give up even halfway through a song where I had my right hand on my shoulder, not being able to actually maintain the breath capacity that I needed to do the song. I didn't give up. And that again is a success. I could have quite easily just copped out and got on, oh, I'm really, really sorry. That's not, that, 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 that didn't go very well. And that would have looked even worse on me if anything, but I got through the entirety of, of the audition and I gave them what I could in that moment. And that is worth celebrating. So you do need to take logical stock of the fact that yes, there were loads of negatives that happened, but there were also things to take away as wins. And the last and most important thing that we need to think about when we've had a really, really bad audition experience is, yeah, but did you die? Now look, our industry is seen as luxury, okay? It is not, we are not, curing cancer. We are not sending a NASA space rocket to the freaking moon. We are not going to war. This is not a life and death thing. It's make-believe. We are in the business of imagination and dressing up and make-believe. I think at some point we need to kind of chill out and go, it's not that big of a deal. Like, this is a luxury. It is, it is such a privilege to be able to actually exist in this industry and to have an audition. That is almost a privilege to have these negative experiences because, you know, if you think about it, there are so there are, there are more difficult jobs that you might not enjoy as much. So even though you had a really negative experience, it didn't kill you. It's not that big of a deal. It should, auditions shouldn't matter a week after you've done them. You shouldn't be dwelling on them. And I speak as much to myself as I do to other people. We shouldn't be dwelling on this shit. It's not worth it. In the grand scheme of things, during a cost of living crisis and a global pandemic and oil stuff, corrupt politicians, you know, the world is dark, but it's also absolutely glorious. And we fit somewhere in that, just doing our make-believe, all right? So we need to take stock of the fact that we didn't die when it comes to auditions. It's cool, it's all right to have a negative experience. Just get on with it, you know, roll with the punches, chill out, get over it, get over yourself. Take the work seriously, yes, but don't take yourself seriously. A lot of the time when we come out of these negative experiences, the only thing that is bruised is our own ego. And ego has its place, of course, but if ego overrides everything, you're gonna end up fucking yourself over. So don't do that. Don't be like me. <laughs> so there we are, in conclusion, I really hope that you um, enjoyed reliving some of my horrible moments within this industry and within this absolute nonsense that we call a career. Um, I hope that you got something out of it and me having a cathartic experience of going, I was wronged! <laughs> but I'd be so, so interested to hear your negative, awful, awful audition experiences so that we can actually share it. Because actually, another thing that you should be doing is sharing it with other actors. You would be surprised by actually kind of voicing this and saying, I had a really, really bad audition. They will come back with, oh my God, I had a similar experience and I did this and I did this. And eventually you will see that you were drinking beers with them and having a massive laugh about the fact that we have a ridiculous job. It's ridiculous. I was miming jumping out of a plane. It's ridiculous. It's so much fun. And we should always be viewing it from the place of it is fun, even when it's not. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what your negative audition experiences are so that we can all come together, laugh about it, and rejoice in the fact that we have a ridiculous job. Let's do it, guys. Share the love. But until next time, 